go into each and every method. So for all three methods here, all links to this depreciation entry. So this is really not news to you because we already talked about this in the first four chapters. The key point here is that we want to determine what goes into the dollar amount. Okay, what is the part that we want to depreciate? So always, for all three methods when we depreciate, it will always be this entry. But companies can decide which method to use for which type of asset. They have the discretion to do so. Okay, so you need to know all three methods, how it works. Straight line depreciation is the simplest one. It's also the one that we have been talking about all along. So assuming in this example, the cost of the truck, we can repurchase it in, plus all the transportation costs worth $41,000. And let's say it has a leftover value of $1,000. Meaning when later on, after using it for five years, when we sell it, we can gain $1,000 back. So that's the dollar amount that we don't want to depreciate. That's not part of depreciable cost. We subtract it. Okay, so the right hand side here, um, you have $41,000 the purchase price minus any leftover value. This is the part that we want to spread along the years, $40,000 only, divided by five years. This part here only factors in if the company wants to do a monthly statement. Or let's say the company purchased the asset later on the year, not from the beginning of the year. Then you determine what is the monthly depreciation. Otherwise, if the problem asks you yearly, you don't have to do anything about this. This is just like how we calculate interest, remember? So this is like if the problem is asking you half a year of depreciation, then you times six months over 12. If it's asking you to do a monthly statement, monthly depreciation, one over 12. So this only plays a role if the problem is asking you um, a question other than yearly depreciation. So in this case here, every single year we'll be depreciating $8,000 for this truck. This happens December 31st for this year. This also happens December 31st for next year, for the following year, for five years. Okay, if we take a look at a table of all the years of depreciation, it will look like this. This is exactly the same concept, just spreading 